Hi guys, this is Ranjit and let's talk about air conditioners. It's actually summer uh, and it's pretty hot. So you might be investing in a new AC. And I just wanted to give you my personal opinion about uh, different ACs. Uh, I have actually uh, purchased a lot of ACs earlier. Some of the mistakes, what I did. And I also talk about some three brands of ACs because I have used uh, their ACs quite a bit. I'll talk about Daikin brand. I'll talk about LG ACs and even Panasonic ACs. And recently in this new setup also we have purchased a bunch of AC so I'll also let you know which branch did we go for and why not some of the other brands because I've noticed that uh, with the different brands of AC the characteristics is a little bit different but before that uh, I'll talk about that and share my personal experience I'll also talk about there is a lot of confusion and again I'm going to only talk about inverter ACs not the older type of ACs uh, so in the past about three four years mostly we have purchased only inverter ACs and in inverter ACs you get that style star rating uh, you also get two star uh, three star five star but three and five stars are the most uh, common and uh, it's actually a little difficult uh, if you don't know what is that which one to go for because generally if you notice the five star acs are priced a little bit higher the price gap for the common 1.5 star can be anywhere from about uh, what do you say seven to eight thousand between a three star ac to a five star ac even it might be slightly more so does it always make sense to buy a five star ac and i would suggest no uh, because what I have noticed is that if your usage is pretty less, let's say you're putting this AC in a living room or somewhere where you don't use it uh, continuously for longer periods of time every day, let's say you have just put it in a drawing room or whatever and you use it only in the evenings for about let's say three, four hours at max and maybe you just use it in summers, that is three, four months, uh, then I would say uh, going with just a three star AC will make more sense compared to going for a five star AC. But again, in certain situations, I would say a five star AC in the long run will save you a lot more money. And the reason for that is that the five star AC is a little bit more efficient, so consumes a little bit less power. So where should you go for the five star ACs? Five star ACs, I would say simple rule that you should follow is that, let's say uh, that AC, whatever you have put, uh, the usage is more than six, seven hours per day. Let's say it's in your bedroom or let's say in your home office kind of a setup where it will be used for more than eight hours, nine hours, something like that. Then going with the five star AC will simply make more sense. Or let's say, even if you are a person who has an AC and you use uh, those ACs let's say in a year about eight odd months or something like that not just only in the summers that is two three months then going for the five star AC makes sense for example uh, this is my uh, what do you say office kind of a setup and I know uh, the AC will be used a lot so here in this setup I have put actually the Daikin five star AC in this setup because it's going to be used a lot more and I'll recoup that premium that I paid whatever like let's say nine thousand ten thousand extra for the five star rating I'll recoup that over time with the uh, savings in electricity cost but for example I have went with three star ACs in some other room for example in my home theater room I know that we don't use it every day and continue even if we use it we use it for three four hours max continuously so there I uh, went with the three star AC so I hope the difference between three and five star makes a little bit sense next thing uh, these days you are also getting a lot of ACs that have smart features and generally I would say if you're opting for the smart features again you'll have to pay a little bit of premium for most brands I would say uh, Daikin does charge quite a bit of premium if you want a, a Wi-Fi smart AC or something and that's why I didn't opt for that in this room uh, LG also has that option uh, there are some brands who don't charge a lot of premium if you're going for smart for example Panasonic comes to my mind and we have some Panasonic smart uh, ACs also again I would say as we have some Panasonic smart ACs this smart feature uh, that Wi-Fi connectivity you can control the AC from your phone uh, so let's say if you're outside also you want to switch on the AC it's too hot you can do that but again what I've noticed in the past one and a half years we do not use the smart features that much as I thought. Yes, it's actually pretty convenient. You can also uh, 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 connect it to Alexa or let's say uh, Google Assistant. So by voice, you can actually control it. For example, the Panasonic AC, by just voice, you can uh, control it, switch it on, off, change the temperature. So again, I would say, again, if you're that kind of a person, you want that functionality, you can go with the smart functions. But uh, if it's not a must have, I would say. And I would say 
uh, if you are not paying a huge premium for the smart, uh, go for the smart. For example, uh, recently we also opted for new Panasonic ACs as I've told you. Uh, and uh, the smart one was priced very similar to the regular one. So we went for the smart one. So uh, that's something that I have noticed. Now let's talk about the three different brands of ACs and why just these three uh, different brands. Because the last four or five years, we have purchased quite a bit of ACs with these three brands. That is Daikin, LG and uh, Panasonic. Uh, the Panasonic ones, as I've told you, are the smart ones because the premium was not that much going for a regular one or the smart. In fact, most of the new range is actually smart now. Okay, so first let me talk about the LG ACs in my old uh, what do you say flat setup if you see uh, there and actually we uh, invested in four new uh, LG ACs uh, those are actually five star ACs they're best of the best uh, they call it dual inverter or whatever and uh, generally LG ACs were pretty good in fact I have been using LG ACs uh, uh, from quite some time in fact the non-inverter ones they used to perform very very well the air throw was very very good and they used to cool the room very well but what I've noticed with the LG inverter ACs is that once they move to this inverter the cooling capacity is not that actually good in fact it's just average I would say that is something that I noticed on this but one thing that I really liked on the LG ACs is that uh, these have actually become very very silent uh, so it's actually very good in stuff like this where you are doing video recording or something you don't not, uh, want the fan noise of the AC to be audible and the microphone should pick up so that way I would say uh, the LG's ACs are very very good in that department but what I have noticed is that compared to uh, my Panasonic Daikin AC the cooling capacity is the least on the LG ACs and guys uh, the, the ones that I have uh, uh, these are the best five star ACs from from LG. Uh, thing I like is very very silent but again the cooling capacity and it doesn't matter if your room size is small to average size it doesn't make a difference but let's say if you have a big room like this then certainly it makes a difference I would say. In fact I would say a Panasonic 1.5 ton AC was performing as uh, similar to the LG 2 ton uh, what do you say inverted AC that's the difference that I have noticed personally I would say. Next, if we talk about uh, what do you say, uh, Daikin ACs. I have been using Daikin ACs uh, in, even in my uh, prior prior office. Uh, if you guys follow me, the older one, seven eight years ago, also that I had. Uh, then inverter ACs were very expensive. I opted for that, and they have been actually very very reliable. But what I have noticed is that again in this new setup, also have the Daikin AC. What I notice is that the older Daikin ACs that used to come about seven eight years ago, uh, or even the five year old one, I had one. Those were all made in Thailand, and they were very very silent the indoor unit used to be super silent but what i have noticed is that the new daikin acs that are being uh, sold now in india again this one what i have is also again the five star the top end one these are actually not that silent so that way i'm slightly disappointed one good thing i noticed with daikin is now that the price of daikin has come down a little bit earlier the, the daikin acs used to charge a bomb in premium and but still i would say uh, daikin does charge quite a bit of a premium if you want uh, a what do you say wi-fi version of the same ac in fact uh, i've noticed that uh, this uh, again watch the youtube uh, section uh, youtube has uh, started a thing where I, we can tag products so i noticed this daikin AC AC that is a 1.5 ton AC uh, which is priced very well I'll just tag it so you can check it out uh, and uh, that way I would say Daikin the price has come down but the fan noise again uh, it is not as good as it used to be actually earlier this won't matter to most of the people but again uh, if you are doing sensitive stuff like recording or something that is something you got to note and that way I would say now the LG ACs most of them beat uh, the Daikin AC but overall again in cooling I would say the Daikin ACs are good uh, the cooling capacity is, is slightly better I would say compared to even LG, uh, LG. so that way I like it but again Still, I would say for Daikin, you will be paying a premium. And again, I don't know why. If you're opting for the smart version in Daikin, they charge quite a bit of premium. I think so they have charged the highest premium. So that is something that you have to be careful. Uh, next, again, recently we started buying uh, new ACs and that is the Panasonic. Uh, this uh, I start we, I started using it about two years ago. Uh, the first one was a 1.5 ton, uh, what do you say, five star AC, and that worked very very well. In fact, the cooling on that one was very very good, one of the best that I would say. The air throw and everything, and it cooled very very quickly. Uh, another thing I liked with that AC was that. 
again it was smart so you could use the phone app to control everything or even uh, with Alexa and stuff like that you can uh, say switch on the AC set the temperature it used to do that and still that AC is working as you can see uh, it's been working very well and uh, I like that AC the only con that I've noticed with the Panasonic ACs is that even if you keep the fan vo fan what do you say speed to the lowest the f uh, the fan noise is pretty audible so in fact among the LG Daikin and Panasonic I would say Panasonic is the loudest it has the loudest fan but again we are using it in the drawing room and something like that and we, that doesn't bother us because the cooling is very very good in fact uh, because of the cooling uh, I opted again for a new uh, what do you say Panasonic Sonic AC for this home theater setup that I have. It's actually a two ton uh, AC and I got it for a very, very good deal. And this is actually a fully smart uh, AC. Uh, this uh, actually, this home theater room is at the top floor. So it gets baked up and heated up like crazy. But this uh, Panasonic, uh, what do you say, two ton AC cools the room within just about three or four minutes. Uh, uh, and again, again, as I've told you, though this is smart, uh, I, uh, this is actually not that expensive. So that way, I like the Panasonic ACs. Well, the biggest con with the Panasonic ACs is that even if you keep the fan level at one, uh, let's say five is the max, uh, even at one, uh, the fan noise is a little bit audible. That's the only con that I've noticed with this one, Panasonic, but else uh, overall, I liked it. And specifically, uh, this new setup, uh, we went with a few Daikin ACs and even with Panasonic AC, but sadly this time we did not go with the uh, LG ACs because uh, relatively in this new setup the rooms are a little bit bigger and uh, if I have, would have to have to put LG AC in this specific room I would have, have to go with the 2 ton LG AC because I know the 1.5 ton wouldn't have worked whereas the Daikin and the Panasonic 1.5 ton are cooling this room. So I hope uh, this gives you an idea about uh, the ACs that I have installed and guys this is all practical uh, 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 experience uh, with all these uh, uh, what do you say brands that I have used uh, this video is not sponsored or anything uh, we have used a lot of LG ACs we have used Daikin ACs and even Panasonic ACs so just sharing uh, with you my personal experience because what I have noticed is that uh, though it might be 1.5 ton on all one the cooling characteristics and other characteristics are a little bit different so anyways guys that's it for now for this video if you guys are not subscribed to the youtube channel hit that subscribe button and if you guys would like to uh, uh, me to produce more videos like this the personal experience i'm making uh, videos about uh, st uh, different stuff after i've used it and experienced it in real life do let me know uh, can try to do it uh, for example expensive uh, tvs which i own and now after three four years how do they age or stuff like that anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys